I made it here to Dublin, Ireland, and it's been really, really great. Um, I know it's been like a week since I passed my uh, posted, excuse me, I posted my last video, um, but I've been going nonstop since I've gotten here. I've gone into the city uh, pretty much every day since I've gotten here, um, but. The city is honestly one of my most favorite parts of Dublin so far. I mean, I still have a lot of adventuring and exploring to do. Um, but I figured I would start off my string of Dublin slash Ireland videos um, talking about some of my favorite bookstores that I've encountered so far in the city. Um, now, there are a lot of bookstores. There is an absolutely ridiculous amount of bookstores in the city. Um, there are some that are a little bit more bargain priced. Honestly, maybe some that are a little sketchy looking from the outside, but then there's some really nice ones, some like Barnes & Noble quality bookstores, and some in between um, with really nice atmospheres. Um, and one thing that I see a lot in uh, Dublin are bookstores that are coupled with cafes, uh, which I know in the U.S. a lot of times a Barnes & Nobles will be coupled with a Starbucks. Well this is kind of better because it'll be a not Barnes & Nobles, it'll be a smaller bookstore coupled with a um, more home-brewed tiny cafe that's less commercial and has delicious uh, blends of coffee and with little pictures and designs drawn into the froth. It's just amazing. So I figured I'd start with the list of just a few of the bookstores that I have visited so far. I still have a lot to visit. Again, there's an uncountable amount of bookstores. Well, you can probably count it. I just don't want to. It's just a lot. So, so far I have a small list and some pictures that I've taken while down there and I'll talk to you guys about them. First, I'll be talking about Eason. So Eason Books is essentially the Dublin version of Barnes & Noble. They're all over Dublin, and I mean all over. It's set up like a Barnes & Noble would be except for an Irish interest section. If you want books for cheap, however, in my experience, this store has been a little bit pricier than some of the others. Next we have Dubray, the bookstore and cafe. This place has multiple floors and it's really cute. It has a wide selection of books and a cafe all the way on the top floor. This cafe is a lot smaller than some of the other cafes that I've um, come in contact with, but it's still a really nice cafe with a nice selection. The books here are pretty commercial as well, with many similar selections as Eason. If you're looking for a cheaper selection for some secondhand books, then the Winding Staircase may be a better choice. The Winding Staircase unfortunately does not have a winding staircase, but it is a small store with a lot of feel to it. It's nice, cozy, and it gives you that rustic book warmy feel. Looking for a more expansive experience, there's Connolly Books. This bookstore offers a smaller selection, but also has smaller publications, such as newspapers or political journals. As an extra treat in the back of this store, there's a whole theater that puts on shows for you to attend. Finally, we have Books Upstairs. Thus far, Books Upstairs is my favorite bookstore since I visited Dublin. It has reasonable prices, two whole rooms of books, a basement of discounted books, and a cafe upstairs. Not only that, but it holds literary events. For instance, I attended the art exhibit launch for the art in the book Tangleweed and Brine. I was able to have a glass of wine, converse with some of the local readers, and meet the author and artist for this book. It was a very friendly and intellectually inspiring atmosphere. I intend to dig deeper into Tangleweed and Brine in another video. So that's what I have so far for the bookstores in Dublin. Uh, this week I also did get the chance to visit the Book of Kells exhibit at Trinity College, uh, but I figured that would deserve a video of its own. So stay tuned and I will be working on that video as well. I will have many more destinations and topics to be talking about coming up uh, through the semester that I will be here. So I'm really excited for all the material that I'll be collecting for you guys, and I will definitely see you next time.